Salutations everybody, happy Samhain. I hope you're all having a very good celebration today on this, um, well, very seasonal and very well widely celebrated um, day, it being October 31st and all that. Although, for the Pure Pure fans, I'm sure you'll know that it's Witch's birthday, but on a bit of a touch, it's also someone else's birthday, or rather, something else's. You know the whole meme that goes around that this program's supported by Cookie, everyone's favourite dog? Well, down here, we have a Cookie, who, as of today, is half a dozen years old. That's right, she's six. You're a good girl, yes you are. <laughs> oh, she's getting a bit animated now, as you can see. So, yeah. Oh, you want to go woof, do you? Yeah, well, you're on the camera, dog. So, happy birthday. <laughs> it's a bit sad going on about, um, you know, wishing happy birthday to my pet dog, but I think it's cute. So, everyone's favourite dog is six years old today. Happy birthday, cookie dog. <laughs> woof to you too. <laughs> anyway, uh, something that I want to show you. I hope the light is okay, but we'll come to it here. A couple of new games that I um, recently bought. A couple of games that I shouldn't have bought, but bought anyway. What you have here is a Sega Mega Drive game called Psycho Pinball. And on the right here we have Tsuyoshi Shikari Shinasai Tyson Puzzle Dama. Now we'll, go to, we'll come back to Puzzle Dama in a moment. I'm going to talk about uh, Psycho Pinball. Now this is one of the better pinball games that you'll find on the Mega Drive. It was made by Codemasters which are a British based games company. And these are also the same guys responsible for the gems known as Micro Machines, which um, there is a game that I think that everyone should get, is this one here. The same people that make this game, Micro Machines Turbo Tournament 96 on the Mega Drive, which is absolutely awesome for a top-down 2D arcade racer. If you really like your top-down 2D arcade racers, like your overtops and stuff like that, this game is the one that you really have to get. It's only available in Europe though, so you'd have to be importing it, but it doesn't have region lock, so it'll run on your American Genesis or your uh, Japanese Mega Drives. This is pretty much the same thing. Now, here's the thing that gets me. I don't know if it will focus very well. It probably won't, so bear with me a moment. Wait for it to focus if it will. Well, I'm holding this. This is going to be a bit tricky. <laughs> But no, I don't know if you can see that clearly, but this game back in the day from Virgin cost $32.99. $32.99 for a Sega Mega Drive game! That's just nuts! And seriously, it is. Especially when one of the more popular games were like £45, £50. It's, it is quite balmy, but this game, Psycho Pinball, is a sweet pinball game. If you like pinball games, I recommend picking this up. See on the back, it's got um, a choice of four interactive pinball tables, realistic panels, you use the A, B and C. I'll see if I can uh, get a video of it up at some point. It is one that you really should pick up. It is definitely one for the Mega Drive. Absolutely. And it supports up to four players. Um, unfortunately, i just remove the sleeve a second. One thing that Codemasters do is what's called um, a J-Cart. But as you can see, this one isn't really a J-Cart. It's just shaped like a J-Car, like the original Micro Machines was. Whereas Micro Machines have a tournament 96, let me get that open. You can see here it's got j cart written there, and it's got player 3 and player 4. And that allows you to do 4 player or 8 player if you're doing shared controllers. I'll put some more detail into Micro Machines another time. We're going to move from here to Tsuyoshi Shikari Shinasai Tyson Puzzle Dama. This is a puzzle game, a pure pure clone. And if you're familiar with the Puzzle Dama series, this is one of the earlier ones, released on the Super Famicom. The idea, really, is that you have dots, like that, which you can use, and squares, which you have to erase normally. And then, once you erase adjacent ones, as you can see here, you erase them, they become free, then they erase and they go. It's a very simple, yet very fun puzzle game. And the way that garbage is dealt is it either falls from the top, or rises from the bottom, or both. Now I do have another um, Tyson Puzzle Dummer game for the Sega Saturn. I've got um, Tokimeki Memorial Tyson Puzzle Dummer. This game hurts my brain. 
I love the Puzzle Dump side of things, but I do not get the Tokimeki Memorial ones. Well, the Tokimeki Memorial side. I know it's a dating sim, but I'm not familiar with it, so... Yeah, unfortunately I can't comment on much, but... Um, what Konami do is that they take uh, different franchises and they throw them into their own game. So, you know, you've got, obviously, Siyoshi Shikari Shinasai, you've got Tokimeki Memorial 1 and 2, you've got Chibi Maruko-chan, you've got Twinbee, and also you've got the arcade version, which is really good and well worth playing, especially for one Jiro the dog. I, like, I love that thing, it's brilliant. It's, it is a really good puzzle game. I mean, if you like puzzles, I'd say pick this one up. Play similar to Puzzle Fighter and Pure Pure. That's that's the best way to describe it. Anyway, this is a short little video with um, a couple of spoils that I've got. These two in particular. And the fact that today is Samhain, which is um, a pagan holiday, as uh, everyone else would know it as Halloween. The whole idea of um, Halloween actually came from Samhain. It's a direct derivative. You can go check it out on Wikipedia and stuff like that if you fancy your chances in doing so. So yeah, this is just a short one from me. I'll see if I can put up a, another video soon. Especially now that I have my Mega Drive back, fully fixed, fully refurbished, with a mod switch at the back. And Dr. Buck can be in the cart. Alright, that's all from me. I'll try and put up another video soon. So, thanks for watching. Peace.